thanks for tuning in, guys, and Happy New Year. As always, thanks for giving it all the thumbs up and all that. We got a great series for today. Something I've always wanted to install on a truck for a super long time. Keep watching to see what it is. Alright, so as I said, I have always wanted to put some white gauge faces on a vehicle. I always thought that looked super neat. And because this truck is actually white on the outside, this is going to be even more epic. And also, while I was there, I got these super awesome looking silver based with a blue needle. This is a whole set, and they will go in here. Look, it'll look super sharp. And then also, I got the LED blue bulbs to go inside the gauge pod. As you can see here, this came from US Speedo Gauge Faces. They gave us some really good directions. Now, I do have to solder these in, as you see here. It's not like the old style where you can just pull them out. So, see... They have to solder them to the base here. You have to pull the old ones off. And then it will give it this really nice blue glow, as you see here. LEDs versus the real nasty old half breeze. It came with a tool, the needles, so you can pry these up. So, that is where we're at now. I will upload a video of it right now of what it looks like before we start this. And also stay tuned later on for some bloopers where I took all this off and thought it didn't have these kind of bulbs. I thought it had the old school kind that you just screwed in on the board, but it wasn't that. And I found out it ended up being these. That'll be at the end of all this, so I'm going to start taking the panel, the gauges out, and bring it inside, and then we'll start taking needles off and all that stuff. So, let's get started. Alright, so let me close the door here and maybe it'll help on... You can kind of see the lighting on these gauges. It's pretty shot. Alright, so once you get the gauge cluster out here... All you got to do is just snap these little hooks, usually something, pick or something, and get the cover and the back off. So that's what we'll do now, and then we'll go further from there. So normally in this scenario, if you were just going to do the LED bulbs, you would mark your needles, put some tape on here, and just mark like what direction your needle is. But because we're changing this whole faceplate out, even if I mark them, I'm not going to know exactly where they were 
when I put it back together. So I basically just took a picture of it before I take it apart here. And we're just going to take this tool they gave me and pry these needles up. That's all there is to it for pulling the old one off. All right, so as you can see here, these are the bulbs. And you can see that they're soldered in there. And that is what we're going to be taking out. Alright, so on these old bulbs, you just basically grab them, pull them up a little bit, and then just kind of twist it off. And then you can take the little yellow piece out of the way. And then you're left with these two pieces. So you're basically just going to solder these two legs in there just like that on each one.
All right, so after you get them all soldered onto the board, the only bad thing is, is you got to take it back out of the truck and check them to see if you got the polarity right. Because if not, then you got to unsolder them, flip them around, and re-solder them back on. So that's what we got to go check. All right, guys, so I went out there and tested it, and I only had two that worked, which I marked there, that one, and that one. So I got to flip all the other ones around. So now that you got them all checked and ready to go, now you can go back with installing the rest of the cover and stuff back on. And then we'll go into the white faces and then the needles. So we got the needles on and we added a little special touch here as you can see the driven by gears logo that we made here off the plotter those needles are looking good so we'll put the cover back on So here's the finished product. So you can see we went from this nastiness to this epicness. All right, guys, here's the finished product. As you can see, this sucker is nice and bright. Looks really good. It's probably a lot brighter on the phone than what it should be. And then you got the white gauge 
faces. Way better than what factory looks like. So here's how she looks during the daylight. It's not quite daylight, but man, she is crisp. Looks real good. All right, guys, thanks for watching the video. Make sure and give it a thumbs up. Make sure and subscribe. Now, this is a sweet little awesome upgrade that didn't cost very much. So I'll leave the links and all the stuff in the description below where I purchased it, bought it, prices, all that. With the white truck, it really looks good. With the white face faces on the gauges so anyway hope y'all like this little video so changing out the light bulbs to the leds even though you got to solder them in it's not really difficult if you know how to solder so anyway thanks for watching thanks for tuning in and until next time keep it simple keep it sweet